the snake field secretaries arrive in Ohio, and it's, in some senses, it's oil and water. So erupts, uh, you know, one on one in different kinds of interactions between the students and the field secretaries. The need for the volunteers and the presence for the volunteers represented our inability after three years to make significant inroads into changing Mississippi. So we had to reach out to this larger group, which was predominantly white. And many of us were still not entirely comfortable with it. The tension between the volunteers and the SNCC staff, who was almost entirely black, became evident right away. They were like, we're going to take these greenhorns back to Mississippi and be the tip of the spear of the civil rights movement. And these people would like to get us killed because they don't know what they're about to do. And they're saying, these people look like they're just about beyond hope. The police are going to harass you. They're going to pick you up on the road. They're going to trump, going to put trumped up charges on you. You're going to wind up in jail. I suggest we be a little more serious about this thing. One of the things that was done at the orientation was to instruct the white students, particularly, that you're going into a situation where you will have to follow the directions of black people. You will be living in black homes. You will have to live according to the way they live. Uh, you will, your life will depend upon you following directions. And of course, these white students had never been in a situation like this. In order to orientate the Freedom Summer workers, we showed them this movie. It featured Theron Lind, who was the registrar in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Theron C. Lind, circuit clerk and voting registrar of Forest County, Mississippi, is one of the most powerful men in America. He and the 81 other county registrars in Mississippi have the power under state law to decide who can and who cannot vote. Theron Lynn is your, is your stereotypical racist bad guy, a big, burly, cigar-chomping, tobacco-chewing, aggressively racist white man. That's right. That's a section of the Constitution of the state of Mississippi. All right, then when you get over here and answer the question, my team... And the summer volunteers see him and start to laugh. People coming up from Mississippi were tired, exhausted, suspicious of the summer project. So the reaction to that laughter was hostile. You're not taking Mississippi seriously. You, you think this is something funny, something to be laughed at. No, what you're looking at has cost people their lives. And when the lights came up, the young stick leader said, we have to know you, we have to love you, but we don't understand you. They really were furious. And it went on at great length to say, you're coming out of a different place. I don't know if you should be going with us. These white kids were unsteady vessels. They, they weren't at all sure that <laughs> these were the allies they wanted. They stayed in the auditorium for a few hours talking and arguing, and they really went at it. But I think it really broke the tension. It brought out these underlying resentments. It brought out the differences between the two, and it highlighted them. And above all, it brought out the fact that they were all in this together. From then on, a lot of the tension was broken, and they realized that they were really one in this, and that they were going to go down and, and do this together. <laughs>